The agonisingly slow pace of Queenstown traffic, a major bone of contention for locals. The increase in congestion and major backlogs prompting a meeting last night organised by the Lake Hayes and Shotover Country Community Association. Mayor Jim Bolt faced a barrage of questions and shared his own frustrations. Uh, the worst morning I've, morning I've struck so far, it took me 50 minutes from Lake Hayes, Lakeside Lake Hayes, uh, into the council offices. Um, but I've uh, learnt my lesson and I leave at 7am in the morning now. That's nearly five times as long as it took him a few decades ago. Bolt says several ideas have been floated to ease the district's traffic woes, but the pace of progress is slow. And I just get very frustrated over how long it takes to come to these decisions. Another hot topic was the recently revealed $100 million gondola, with developer Alistair Porter addressing the crowd about his big ticket proposal. I've had a lot of experience with gondolas overseas, and to be perfectly frank, in my opinion, they are very, they're not intrusive on people. They're high up in the air, and most people walking, frankly, are looking forward or looking around them. They're not, it's quite difficult to walk looking up in the air. Porter's latest proposal includes a commuter option to help ease traffic problems. There are very few opportunities that you get like gondolas where you can enable large numbers of people to enjoy the environment without putting a foot on it. Some new infrastructure was hinted at including a dedicated cycling and walking bridge across the Shotover River and a new roundabout at Lake Hayes Estate. Whether it's enough to mitigate the current congestion is anyone's guess in Queenstown the South today.